Hello, class. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How Good evening, are teacher. you? Fine. And you, teacher? Not bad, not bad. Um, finishing up our week. Yeah. So very nice, very nice. Um, just trying to relax a little bit now. Almost finished the week. How about you guys? How are you today? Everything okay. Have you finished the week or do you work tomorrow, Andres? No, uh, until today. Oh, good, good. So tomorrow, what do you do? Tomorrow, I will be a fan. Okay, any special plan? I don't have plans. There are no plans for tomorrow? Okay. Maybe Sunday. Maybe, maybe Sunday. Oh, what are you going to do on Sunday? Maybe I, I will go outside. Okay, any particular place? To eat. Oh, to eat? Mm -hmm. Horses. Uh, I don't know. I, I will maybe La Palma. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That, that's a nice place. It's a very nice place. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. How are you today? Juan Francisco, how are you? Good. How was your week? How was your week? It's week or this week, weekend. yeah, the week that just finished. Was it a good week or uh, was it difficult? No, uh, Today and press, I can say. Uh, Sorry? Oh, I just can say, teacher. Oh, today was your, your day off. Day off. Uh, Dia libre. Your day off. Today was your day off? Day off, yes. Nice, yes. nice. Okay. Did you do anything interesting, anything fun? Or you didn't do anything interesting, uh, huh? Or just sleep? I I don't want to sleep. <laughs> I just want to, uh, today. 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 Did you do anything interesting? Today, uh, I I had my daughter with her homework. Oh, good. You were, you were being a good father and helping her out. Good, yes. good. How, how, how old is your daughter? Two daughters. Uh, oh, one um, and daughter had uh, six years old and not another uh, seven. Fifteen and seven. Oh, that's good. Uh, Fifteen and seven. No, six. Six and seven. Sixteen and seven? Seis y siete. Oh, six and seven. Six and seven. Six, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. 
I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. All right, class, we're going to start uh, with um, taking attendance. So we'll start with um, Alejandra Maria. Alejandra Maria, no? No, okay. Um, Andres? Present teacher. Good. Um, Edgar? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Elsie? Present Good. teacher. Wonderful. Elsie ya se fue de vacaciones. No, no, acá estoy. I'm here. <laughs> Yo pensaba que ya se había ido de vacaciones. A, no. Antes, ya se había ido para los estados. <laughs> ah, bueno, ya quiero, sí. <laughs> a San Francisco. <laughs> sí, ya veo, ya veo. Ok. Um, Fabiola. Fabiola? Okay, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier, no. Okay. Um, Irene Azucena. Irene Susana? No? Jennifer Magali. Present. Ah, okay, there she is. Good. Uh, Josué Alberto. Josué Alberto? Okay. Uh, Uno, dos. Juan Francisco. Uno, dos, <laughs> Okay, good. Julio César. No, right. Darla Cano. Darla Cano, no. <laughs> Okay, Carla Noemi. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Manuel. And Manuel de Jesús. Manuel de Jesús. No, okay. Manuel de Jesús no está um, Mariela. Present. Wonderful. Um, Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Werner. Werner. No. Uh, Soy la Noemi. Sola Noemi. No. Um, and Yvonne. No. Okay. Va. Hay alguien que no haya mencionado su nombre? Oh, Salas, I'm here. Ah, okay. Perfecto. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, Ivonne puso en el grupo que se va a incorporar tipo nueve de la noche. Ah, ok, te voy a ver. Te voy a ver. Ok, vale. Ya menciona todo, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok, wonderful. All right, so what we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to start, uh, first of all, uh, with, well, let me share my, the PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a moment.
Can you see this? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, good, perfect. Okay, so today uh, we're looking at, uh, it's well, today's the beginner, unit three, customer service, topic simple past review and practice. Okay, so this is actually the last um, class for unit three. And today is day 15, date Friday, March 19th, 2021. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so yesterday we were learning a little bit about um, information questions. Information questions, we saw that we need to use words. What are the words that we have to use? At the beginning, what words? ¿Cuáles son las palabras que tenemos que usar? Al principio. What, where, why, how, 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 oh. when, why, where, which, when, why, which, which, how, which, how. how. What else? Who. 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 When. When, okay, excellent. So those are information questions. Cuando empezamos una pregunta con eso, nunca podemos responder yes, no, ni en español. No, no decimos, um, ¿a qué horas es tu clase? Sí. Yes. No, you don't say that. You say, ¿a qué horas es tu clase? Ah, mi clase es a las, la, la. o ¿a qué horas me almorzaste? No. No, you have to say, ah, no, no almorcé. Right, but you can't just say no. Right, so that's that's why we have uh, information questions to ask more information to get not just simple yes or no. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna start the class by getting you to look at these questions. I'm gonna show you these questions. Okay. It's like I'm actually it's a way to change. Se me se me había olvidado que quería cambiar estas. Para que no se me confundan, si no se me pueden confundir entonces. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. No sé quién me está saludando porque no puedo ver, pero good evening. It's me, me Julio. Ah, okay. Welcome, Julio Cesar. Thank you. Okay. There you go. All right. So, here we go. Those are the questions. So, I want you to look at these questions and have. Um, tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? What did you do? What did you do for your last birthday? <coughs> Who was your first crush? Do you understand crush? La persona especial, el enamorado. Ajá, eh, es, es el, ajá, el enamorado, el, la persona que le gusta, ¿verdad? That's a crush. So, who was your first crush? ¿Quién, a, quién le gusta? ¿Quién es la, la, la primera persona que, de que se enamoró, verdad? Que, es, que, que, que le gustaba? What was the last really difficult thing you had to do? What did you eat for your last meal? Who did you meet last week? What did you do together? What did you do for the last 24 hours? When was the last time you were very excited about something? Where did you live as a child? 
When was the last time you went to an amusement park? How was it? What was the best meal you ate recently? Do you understand these questions or do you have questions about the vocabulary? Ask Teacher. questions about vocabulary, yes. Teacher, uh, no, es, tengo una, una inquietud. Uh, cuando formulo una pregunta y estoy uh, haciéndola en función de un grupo de, de personas, siempre me tengo que referir como they. No. No, porque se está preguntándole a un grupo de personas la pregunta es directa. Ustedes, ¿verdad? Ustedes, okay. pensando a segunda persona plural. ¿Cuál es la segunda persona plural en inglés? Yo. Correcto. Okay. Remember, you is, can be singular o you plural. O sea, okay. you en inglés puede ser tú. O puede ser ustedes. ustedes. O puede también ser usted. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok, thank you. All right, questions. Pregunten acerca de eso porque no, 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 no creo que todas las palabras las la conozcan. Y Shell. Yes. Amusement. Amusement Park. Amusement Park es un parque de diversiones. ¿Verdad? Como, como por ejemplo, um, Playland. O, um, ¿cómo se llama esta, esta cosa que había antes? El teleférico. That's an amusement park. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, what's the meaning? Lats mail. Lats mil. Ah, ok. Eh, last es último. Meal es tiempo de comida. Entonces, en otras palabras, ¿qué comiste? ¿Qué fue lo que comiste en tu último tiempo de comida? Ok. Thank you. Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ask, try to ask me in English. Oh, I have a question. Sure. Uh, in this case of the... Well, disculpen. En el caso de la palabra mil, es comida. ¿Sí? Uh, sin embargo, uh, bueno, normalmente, bueno, yo, tal vez... No lo había, siempre había, bueno, siempre había creído que era food, pero no, pero para ver en qué situaciones se, se ocupa food, porque para food, food a mil. Para en sí, qué tipo por, de... lo, por lo general es más que todo tiempo de comida, no solo comida, sino tiempo de comida. Hablando acerca de almuerzo, desayuno, cena, refrigerio. Uh, no. Es un tiempo de comida. No es, okay. no es en sí la comida en general, sino que es específicamente lo que se come en cada tiempo de comida. Okay. Good question. Gracias. Yeah, good question. Any other questions? No other questions? Really? No, Todas las preguntas la entienden entonces. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, eh, 
pueden tomar ahí una captura de imagen, como quieran. Ya, yes, dicho. Ok, you ready? Ready. Ok, good. All right, so I'm going to get you to work in pairs. You're going to be discussing these questions with your partner. Okay, so you're going to be asking your partner these questions. Tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? What did you do? You're gonna, and you're going to answer your partner. My last vacation, I went, no, I go, verdad? I went to the beach. I went to the beach, fui a la, a la, a la playa. What did you do? I swam, I swam. Okay, so what did you do for your last birthday? Uh, my last birthday, I went to Los Planes, for example. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so you're going to be asking your partner the questions and you, your partner is going to be answering. And then switch. You, uh, you, your partner asks you the question, you answer. Okay? It's clear? Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to make the groups, the breakout rooms. Okay, let's open up the rooms. Ask you, tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? What did you do, Marvin? Ok, permitime, porque lo estoy pasando al inglés. <laughs> oh, en my last Ay, Marvin, vacation, le voy, dice... un, le voy a dar un tip. Ajá. No, no es algo fácil, pero sí es necesario. Ajá. Deben estar pensando en español primero. Y, y, y ese, ese, ese es, mi, es mi problema. No sé, es, es la cosa más difícil eh, que sea para todos, ¿verdad? Pero es necesario, es necesario que deje de, de estar pensando primero en español y después lo voy a traducir. Porque al menos que sea un uh -huh. intérprete o traductor, eso no le va a, a servir de, de mucho más lo va a atrasar su progreso. Porque usted lo que va a terminar haciendo uh -huh. es pensando, pero esto por qué es así, sí. Eso no tiene sentido. Si sí, esto de por qué es rever que nos. Y entonces, y va a empezar a decir cosas que no tienen sentido en, en inglés. Porque lo que va a estar uh -huh. diciendo es lo que realmente va a estar tratando de expresarse en español con palabras en inglés. ¿Tiene sentido eso? Yes, teacher. <risa> Así que eh, solo trate, trate de, de pensar cómo se formulan las oraciones en inglés solamente. Ok. Y, y eso, eso significa que puede ser que vaya lento uh -huh. y tiene que ir pausada la oración. Está bien, al principio le va a costar, 
pero después va a ir agarrando el hilo, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Thanks. Ok, Marvin. Ok. Tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? Mm. What did you do? Ok, en my last vacation, I, I don't, I don't make, or I don't make no much, but the pandemia, for the pandemia, uh, Pandemic. Pandemic? Okay. For the pandemic, uh, uh, I was uh, close my vacation. Uh, correcto. Can you repeat that? Staying home. Uh, yeah. Uh, stay close at home or no? Staying I, home. I, staying I home. Uh, encerrado. Locked down or uh, sorry, locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Okay. Uh, Vais, uh, este, mm. uh, only, only, only that mm. I okay. have uh, uh, stay home, los up. I I did I did celebrate celebration we they we they 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 with they um I went ate uh, a cake yes. <laughs> only that Can you repeat that Janet. Ay, eh, es que no sé cómo sea el pasado de comer. Hey, no, no, it's correct. I just, I just want you to repeat again. Okay. Ah, I, I ate a cake. Very good. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I think the first time, I, I think you said I went ate a cake. Ah, uh, so, okay. So you okay. Just remember. It's not went, just just use uh, ate. I ate a cake. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe, may, maybe say, um, I went a cake. Or oh, I went, no, ate went, a cake. Went is el pasado de go. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Francisco, what did you do for your last birthday? Uh, in my last birthday, uh, I meet, I meet with, with family in the beach. I went to the beach and share Good, very good, Juan Francisco. Uh, just remember that meet, the past of meet is met. Meet. Met. Met. Uh, met. <sighs> yeah. I, I think similar to the nation. Uh, I meet. What? Uh, but it's met. Met, mm -hmm. correct. I met my family in the beach. Uh, I 
Zoom party. Share, share. Share. I share. Okay. Um, I was uh, the meet. Of the sun, <laughs> or uh, <laughs> I made I made the barba barba come on barba barbecue oh, barbecue <laughs> barbecue I made a barbecue only that <laughs> okay good evening hi are you guys finished. Francisco, su, su número dice Javi. Sí, sí. 7214. Ese mismo. Vaya, ahorita se lo mando. Ok. Do you guys have any questions? I send a image. image I will in process. To Francisco. Do you guys have any questions or do you need help? No, teacher. No? No. Okay. Hey, uh, tengo la imagen. Eh, me actualizan, por favor. Okay. Um, uh, we answer the question. Okay. That's how they answer a question with a past tense. Simply past information questions. No? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Know what uh, were your last vacation? Where did you go? What did you do? Oh. What did you do for your last word? Okay. <sighs> Cada uno de nosotros iba a responder y iba a transferir a los otros. Así es. Ok. Um, wow. Tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? What did you do? Mm, ok. Uh, my last vacation was in, in the beach. Um, in the beach, I... It beach, beach. I'm playing soccer and, and swimming and and eat a great fish, a big fish. Okay. Play soccer. Play soccer. Yeah, eat a big fish. And eat a big fish. Okay. What do you do for? Your last birthday. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Uh, my last birthday was in. I was in home. Okay. Um, sleep all day. <laughs> what? Hi, guys. Hello. Hello, teacher. Have you been able to um, ask the questions? We are working on it. Okay, good. Yes, we are. All right. We, okay, continue. We're, well, we're help, helping each other. Good. Good, good. Okay, just hey, that I'm not I here. have a question. Yeah. Were you able to check on the, um, on the homework for today? On the platform? Uh, you forgot, right? I see. I see your look. Um, I remember you. You mentioned something, but I didn't. I tell you to send me what it, no. what it was. No, you told me. I will check on it, and I will let you know what it is. Okay, remind me. Remind me, because I, I, I had, I had a feeling that I had asked you to send. That was it, what you told. But <laughs> remind me. What was that? Hello. Hi. Well, okay. Remind me what it what it was.
Oh, I think Kunisas is having connection problems. Okay, well, in the meantime, hi, Manuel, I hadn't said hi, I hadn't said hi to you. Hi. Mm. How are you? Thank you. Um, uh, I am fine. Uh, uh, work and no. the sentence. Oh, I'm back. I'm sorry. I, oh, I lost okay. connection, I think. Yeah, we, 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 we lost you for a bit there. I, I, I thought it was you and I wasn't. Miss Jessica, can you hear me? <laughs> I think I was the one who lost connection. It's okay. <laughs> no, what I was telling you is um, remind me what it was. Oh, uh, it's um, the um, the homework doesn't have any explanation of what to do. It's just the uh, just the uh, I think our our questions there. Uh huh. But which one is it? Which um, the one for Friday? The one for today? Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Let's let's check right now. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, this is, um, is this homework number 12? No, no. no. 15, uh -uh. right? Yes, I think 15. I'll let you know in a moment. In the meantime, continue working with uh, Manuel and ask the questions while I check oh. I check this. All right, all right. Okay, Mr. Manuel, let's uh, let's go with number, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the question says, what did you eat for your last meal? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ajá, ¿de qué comí la última vez? Ajá, ¿cuál fue su última comida? La última cena que venden en el mercado. Okay. <laughs> sí. eh, I am eat eh, 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 atún. Tuna fish. Ah, you you ate. Ajá. You ate. Tuna fish. Ahí. Ok. Usted um, puede decir, I ate, I ate tuna fish. I ate, I ate, I ate, ajá. Tuna fish. Tuna fish and salad. Tuna fish and salad, ok. And salad mexican. And mexican salad. Um, uh, yeah. And Mexican salad. Yes. Hey. Salad. Oh, perfect. Now we go to the Good next one. one. Who did you meet last week and what did you do together? Who did you meet last week? And what did you do together? Uh, okay. Si no me entiende, dígame. Do you last? La última. Who did you meet last week? Eh, last week, de la última semana. Ajá. ¿Quién, ¿A quién conoció o con quién se, eh, se juntó? I, Who did you meet last week? ¿A quién conoció la última, uh, la semana pasada? I am now uh, and Mr. Uh, 
Mr. Eh, Jonathan Tolentino. And what did you do together? Tolentino. Uh -huh. And what did you do together, Mr. Montoya, with uh, with Jonathan? Um, I have an answer for you, Julio Cesar. Oh yes. Uh, all you have to do is change the negative to affirmative. Oh, okay. Because I was confused. I was trying to. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to work ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, so just changing the, the negative to the past, sorry, the, the negative to the affirmative in obviously the simple past. Oh, okay, okay. I think I can do that. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Okay, uh, I'm going to go see the other group, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Okay, uh, Mr. Montoya, so we were on, what did you do? When I, when I were uh, to fly along. Hola. Yeah. Alone. 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 Who did you meet last week? What did you do together? I meet uh, with my friends and we had pizza in my house. Okay, just be careful with the pronunciation. It's um, you said I I I meet right, mm -hmm. and the pass of meet. What is the pass of meet? Do you know? Meet meet. It's one It's only one e. You pronounce it met met met. Uh, met. met. Okay. Okay. So very good. Do you have questions? No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. I will see you in the main session in a moment. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Hi. Uh, I'm trying, uh, uh, you tell me, uh, practice my great sentences. Sin usar el traductor. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, good for you, Marvin. Uh, Bravo. Uh, it's difficult. Uh, uh, 
it's difficult for me. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, especially at the beginning, but then later it's going to be super easy. Okay. Okay. So, okay. All right. So I, I know at this, at this moment, you're like, ah, you know, I, I, I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. But you will. I freeze um, my man. I freeze my man, my mind. Yes, exactly. Um, yo le estaba diciendo ahí a Marvin de que um, es importantísimo que dejemos ese mal hábito, porque realmente es un mal hábito eh, cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma de estar traduciendo todo. Y es algo que, que normalmente, o sea, es algo bien natural que todos lo hacemos. Y, y, y veo, ¿verdad? Que ahí están muchos diciendo, sí, ¿verdad? O sea, también lo hacen y, y es algo que, o sea, no se sienta mal si se lo hace porque, pues sí, o sea, es algo que uh, natural que todos nos pasa, pero que no nos va a ayudar para, para ir mejorando, ir, um, ir eh, ¿cómo se llama? Escalando, pero no, no vamos a llegar a mucho. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque simplemente son dos idiomas diferentes ¿no? y no tiene nada que ver uno con el otro. Eh, y entonces nos vamos a confundir más. Si nosotros estamos uh, ahí haciendo, así que primero español y después en inglés, uno, nuestro cerebro se va a confundir y dos, no vamos a entender el idioma. Yo le decía a Marvin, lo que va a terminar pasando es, usted va a, lo que va a hacer es hablar español, en español utilizando palabras en inglés. No sé si eso tiene sentido. Pero yes, eso yes, teacher. Eso uh, my, my English, my English in my mind is uh, Godzilla uh, in my mind. But when I speak, uh, uh, un dinosaurio pequeño. Un gecko. Un, un gecko, <laughs> ok. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exacto, yeah, exactly. But yeah, you couldn't have said it better. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso de que es bien importante de que dejemos ese hábito de que voy a, voy a decir todo primero en español, voy a pensar qué voy a decir y después lo voy a traducir al inglés. Es, eso no nos va a llegar a, a llevar a mucho. Así que al menos que, que usted sea, va, su propósito es ser traductor o e intérprete, no le sugiero que haga eso. ¿Okay? Entonces, uh, ahora que va a ser difícil, les va a costar. Al principio va a trabajar y, y decir, no, yo no puedo. No le escucho, teacher. Teacher no se le escucha porque hay un micrófono. Oh, ok, ok. Si me hacen el favor, Sasu, chicos, de, de, de um, apagar el micrófono un momentito, les agradecería. Gracias. Um, como les decía, al principio van a, a batalear y decir, no, yo no puedo con esto, eso es demasiado difícil. Yo nunca voy a poder hablar inglés, etcétera, etcétera. Pero si usted le sigue y sigue, sigue, sigue insistiendo, entonces lo va a lograr, ¿verdad? Pero definitivamente cuando hagan las tareas y a, no les sugiero que primero van a escribir en español o primero lo van a pensar en español y después lo van a traducir en inglés. Eso no funciona. Créanme, no funciona. Va a funcionar por el principio y ya después se va, se va a quedar así. Porque muchas cosas no se pueden traducir. Y muchas cosas usted va a decir, ¿y esto por qué? Si esto no, o sea, eso no debe ser. ¿Y por qué, teacher? Y es que lo van a estar cuestionando porque van a estar pensando en el primero. Y la cosa es que no existe. Por, por decirle algo, solo para que ustedes vean a qué me refiero. Teacher, de nuevo volvieron a encender el micrófono. Ok. Um, Ah, ok, vaya. Um, 
Pues, bueno, yo creo que ya, ya estamos nuevamente. Si no, voy a estar pendiente ahí para... Lo que voy a hacer es que voy a estar pendiente si se abre. A veces pasa eso, o sea, que, que um, por qué motivo se, se activa el micrófono. Así que solo no se preocupen, voy a estar pendiente. Que, pero lo que les quería decir es um, de que um, a veces sucede que ustedes, por ejemplo, um, están con una palabra y dicen, ¿y esto qué es? Y, y esa palabra, ¿cómo, cómo se, y esa palabra como en, 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 en español? Y resulta que esa palabra no tiene traducción. Es más, no existe, no existe esa palabra en, en, en español. Ya se han encontrado con algo así. Yes, teacher. yes, teacher. ¿Algún ejemplo? Uh, get it. Get it, get up. Como que no, la traducción no es literal. Ok, get up. Muy bien, ok, get up. Se dice get up. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuál es el significado? Si sí, yo lo traduzco literalmente es... ¿Qué es get? Como obtener. Como conseguir. Obtener, conseguir. Y ya. Como levantar. levantar. Arriba. Arriba. Entonces, yo me consigo arriba. No, la traducción creo que sería como que levantarse. Exacto, pero si yo, me pongo a, a, si yo me pongo a traducir literalmente es yo me obtengo o me consigo arriba. ¿Les parece lógico eso? Oh. Nadie va a entender que si, que, a qué quiere usted llegar, de qué quiere decir, se pregunta eh, si usted dice yo me consigo arriba. ¿Ya ven? No podemos, no, es imposible estar traduciendo todo, imposible, ¿ok? Entonces, por eso les digo, no se, no, no, no pong, no se, no se metan a ese mal hábito, porque de salirse de ese mal hábito es bien difícil. Entonces, traten de ahorita, desde ahorita cortarlo y van a ver que va a mejorar mucho, ¿ok? Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to continue and we're going to go to... Ah, what? Okay, no, never mind. Let's continue here. Um, tell me when you can see the PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, so this is, we, today's class, we're going to be practicing what we have learned during the whole week. So what I want you to do right now with your partner, well, you're gonna, I'm going to get you to work again in, in, in groups or in pairs. And what you're going to try to do is try to figure out what is the, what are the missing letters? Okay, what are the missing letters? What is the vocabulary that we, we learned here? that we learned during the, the week, okay? For example, do you have any idea what this could be? Pick up, pick up, pick up the form. Correct, very good, exactly. So we would write, we would write, Pick up the phone. Okay, pick up the phone. So, and you're going to continue with this, okay? We're going to see if we can identify what is the words, okay? So this is a review of the vocabulary that we saw 
in class. So let's now go to the breakout rooms. And we're going to try to solve this with a partner. Pero antes de irnos al breakout room, voy a aprovechar de hacer to take the attendance. Let's see. Así um, no tenemos que preocuparnos porque están en el breakout room. Okay, so let's start. Uh, do I have Alejandra? Alejandra? No? Alejandra is not here? No. Okay. Um, Andres? I'm here. Okay, good. Uh, Edgar? Oh, present teacher. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. Fabiola. No, Fabiola, no. Okay. Francisco. Francisco Javier. Present. El micrófono se me... Present, present. Ah, there he is. Okay, good. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, okay. Eh, Irene. Irene. Azucena. No. Irene Azucena. Okay, uh, Jose, Josue Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Julio Cesar. Present, teacher. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Francisco Javier no está, ¿verdad? Present. I'm here. Porfa, cierren el micrófono. Eh, Irene Azucena. Susana, no. Okay. Y... Ah, ya sé dónde está. Eh, Jennifer Magali. Present. All right. Now we see you. Okay. Um, Carla Nuri. Hola, Noemi. Oh, okay. Um, Manuel Alejandro. You said sorry, la no me. No me. Soy la Noemi is driving. But she's in the class. No, 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 no. I was saying Carla, Carla Noemi. Ah, okay. 
I'm sorry. My bad. That's okay. Um, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Manuel de Jesus? Present. Present. Good. Um, Mariela? <coughs> Present. Okay, good. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Warner? Warner? No se ha conectado. Okay. Uh, soy la Naomi? Let's see, uh, so let's see that. Okay. Um, and Yvonne. Yvonne? No. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so like I said, right now we're going to be working with our partners and we're going to complete. Um, so let me recreate the groups. Um, here we go. Let's open them up. I'm going to give you five minutes. I don't think it should take you very long. Okay, so let's open up the groups. Okay. Okay. Let's get Write started. Letters to complete the words. Pick up the um. Phone. Pick up pick the the phone. The phone. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Pick up the phone. Uh, these words. Uh. Son las mismas que ya habíamos Sell. visto. The last. Sell. And. And it's, it's, it's cold. Cold. Yes, cold. Cold. Okay. And the next one is. The five or. Five. Two. Ah. Oh. Es que son alternos. Ah, uh, yes. Entonces, pick up the phone. Number two. Number two is. Buy. Or why? Buy. Buy. Buy yes. the compra. Buy. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, buy. Uh, call. And. Number four. Number four is um, G E T P R. I have a trouble. We can imagine the of, of the homework. Homework. The activity. Sorry. Sorry again. I don't have the picture of the activity. Oh, that's from the book. Oh, okay. It's from the book. Huh. Okay. It is the last one. Pero es la última dos páginas de la unidad tres. I found it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, I don't know. Uh, can can um, Noemi? Can you speak, or are you are you able to speak to to Carla, or is are you too busy right now driving? Yeah, uh, she's driving. Yeah. I'm done. 
So, Noemí, usted puede, usted puede ahí hablar con Carla o, o, o no mucho. Sí, yes. Um, okay. okay, but uh, so maybe, maybe Car um, Carla, what you can do with, um, with Noemi is yeah, that um, she's obviously not going to be able to see the, 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 the picture, right? So what you can do is um, just like uh, tell her the word and um, see if maybe she can she can help you to to spell it. Okay. Para deletrearlo. Ella, ella le puede tal vez ayudar a ver si, si se acuerda cómo deletrear las palabras. Okay. okay. Sí, teacher. All right. All right, teacher. Oh. And number number seven. On number seven, we have um, what is uh, it? Uh, wait, one wait, moment. Wait. One moment. Do you guys have any questions? Oh, hello. No, no, no questions no teacher, for no the question. moment. Okay, um, uh, Janet. I have a question for you. Yes, teacher. ¿Cómo se va sintiendo ahora? Con... Ya, ya mejor. Ok, ok. Eh, ¿Qué siente que, que le ha ayudado a sentirse mejor? Quizás ahora eh, siento que nos explica un poco que más al nivel básico en el que nosotros estamos, digo nosotros los, los que veníamos casi como en el mismo grupo, porque al final, o sea, la verdad es que, que mi intención realmente es aprender, pues, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ahora siento quizás que ya, ya eh, usted nos explica un poco mejor y, y un poco más despacio, ¿verdad? Entonces eso. De mi parte, creo que, que sí me he sentido mejor. Ok, good. I'm glad to hear that. Ok. Eh, ¿Se ¿sí tiene alguna, alguna otra inquietud? Uh, or you need help? Um, tips? Suggestions? Let me know. Ok. Ok. Right. Thank you, teacher. Ok. okay. All right. Continue. Pretend I'm not here. Ignore me. Okay. <laughs> All uh, right. On number seven, we were number seven. Uh, help. Help. I, I got help. And um, number eight. Did you complete that yet? One moment. Number eight. Okay. I number eight. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. Okay, I have assist. Assist. Mm -hmm. Okay, number nine. Assist. Number nine. I have uh, received. Number nine, receive. Uh -huh. Number 10, understand. Understand, correct. Understand. And, and 11. 11. Uh, all right. No sé, quizás allá adentro. We we can practice and share some that information because I have a problem with uh, pronunciation. I receive more. Uh, class, uh, writing class. 
is a good opportunity to learn for grammatic and improve our <laughs> Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Do you have questions? Um, uh, we finished the vocabulary. Okay. And we are talking about um, the experience and with English, study English. Oh, okay, good. And Tell me, tell me what are your experience with studying English? Tell me about <laughs> For me, it's my first uh, online course. And oh. uh, I like it because I studied online uh, industrial uh, engineering in the UTEC, but I, I don't like because I don't have a uh, some meeting or something like that. To I it's like uh, looking uh, at the screen. Video. Yeah, look a video in YouTube or a tutorial in in that. But I will continue and study because I need the paper. It's yeah, like for, for years. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, definitely. I think um, I, I really like Zoom because of this reason, that it's very easy to make the breakout rooms and for you to practice, to get that practice with your partners, because there is the best way to learn is doing right? When yeah. you do something, you learn it. So it's important for you to just to, to get that practice with your partner. Um, because if you just look at the screen, you're just, the information is getting here, but you're not producing. So it's very important. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm happy that you. It's a good opportunity because I, I have many opportunities to have a class and I, I can write a sentence and, and par paragraph and I can to have a fluency conversation because I, I can to practice, but, but I don't have the opportunity to practice more, more times. Right, yeah, I, I totally understand that, yeah. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you feel good. I'm, feel, uh, I'm glad that you're able to, to feel that you can practice. It's not easy, but it's the best part to learn. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's not easy, but it is the best way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will see you guys in a bit in the main room, okay? Okay. Okay, welcome back guys. I hope everybody had the opportunity of completing the exercise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sharing with the class. So let me know when you can see the PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so you know the first one. We know, we said that the first one is, 
pick up, right? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Okay, all right, number two. Let's go to number two. What is number two? Bye. Good. Bye. Bye, like this. Okay, good. Number three. Call. Call. Call, very good. Oops, oh my goodness, hold on. Give me a moment. Call. Okay. Number four. It's number four. Get prices. Sorry, what was that? Get prices. Get, get prices. Good, excellent. So we have here get. Prices. All right, good. Number five. Explain. Okay, very good. Explain. Okay. Um, give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay, all right, and number six. Complain. Complain, very good. Okay, good. Number seven. Help. Good. Help. Acuérdense que si en algún momento se llegara a parar que ya no ven ustedes lo que estoy escribiendo, entonces me avisan. Number eight. Assist. Very good. Assist. Good. Number nine. Receive. 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 Yes, receive. Number ten. Understand. Understand. Hey, very good. Under, oh, hold on. Under stand. Okay, good. Eleven. Provide one's information. Very good. That one's a, that one was a difficult one. Okay, so very good. It's we have provide. Provide one's. Hmm. 
provide ones. Chin formation. Okay. And finally, the last one is? Request information. Information. Excellent. Request. What is request? How do you say the request in Spanish? Solicitud. Uh -huh. Ajá. Oh, Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh, solicitar. Request. Solicitar. Okay. Very good. And then we have information, request information. Okay, here you go. Any questions about the vocabulary? Do you understand the meaning of these words? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? It's clear? It's clear, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue practicing vocabulary, but this time what we're gonna do is practice vocabulary about um, complaints or things that, uh, let's say things that are about satisfaction or things that would not create a satisfaction, okay? So um, I want you to think about adjectives that would describe how a person feels when they are satisfied, when there's satisfaction, and words that describe when there is dissatisfaction, okay? To give you some examples, um, to give you an example, if a, an adjective, these are just adjectives, okay? Not we're not, we're not talking about any other words. We're talking about adjectives. An adjective that you would use if you were satisfied, if there was satisfaction, we would say, for example, great. Okay. If there's satisfaction, you would say words like great. If there is dissatisfaction, what will we say? What kind of words will we say? We could say, for example, that it's... Um, disagree. Disagree, okay, uh-huh. But we're talking about adjectives. Disagree is an, as a verb, okay? So okay. We, can, we are only using adjectives. These are just adjectives, okay? For example, we can say um, that it's poor quality. Okay, poor quality. Calidad baja o calidad pobre. Okay, so these are some examples, right? These are just some examples of things that we could say. Um, so I want you to work with a partner and complete adjectives, adjectives, only adjectives that we would use when we are satisfied about a product and adjectives we would use to describe that we are dissatisfied with a, pro with a, a product. Does that make sense? Do you understand what to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher.
¿Ya? ¿Preguntas antes de, de mandarlos a los grupos? ¿No? Ok. So, let me stop sharing. And let's... Actually, I'm going to send you with the same group, ¿ok? Les voy a mandar al mismo grupo para que trabajen con la misma persona. Here we go. Se le fue el compañero, Manuel. Sí, pero ya estoy avanzando ahorita nada. Yeah. Ok, good, that's a good. Ok, any questions? Eh, for this moment, no, teacher. Ok, no problem. Ok, All right. thank you. Yeah, if you, if you need any help, I'll come around and, and help you, ok? I'm going to okay. go and visit the other groups. Ok, perfect. Gracias, Jeff. Great. Yeah, you're welcome. Ah, de desactivación. Okay. Hola, chicos. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you guys. What happened to your camera? There you go. Okay, there you are. All right, so do you have any questions? Um, no, teacher, no. Oh. Well, oh. Maybe I, I don't have, I don't know if my classmate has questions. Okay. All right, continue and I will just pretend I'm not here, ignore me. Teacher, for, for example, I, I say, uh, the good, well, not, I don't suck it. The satisfaction and yeah, it's a quote. Son adjetivos, digamos, for example, yo, I, I say, eh, listen, eh, I, estoy hablando de, de un verbo, entonces no puede ser adjetivo porque el adjetivo es el que califica al, al nombre. Yeah. Entonces tiene que ser como como dislike, cosas así de, por eh, ejemplo, cool, o... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, confused. Right. Uh, for example, but, um, in the class... Um, you can use words like um, a, like a, something that is a positive, excited, um, great, helpful, um, but when something is something that is dissatisfied, you would say, for example, um, um, Poor quality. You could even say words like cheap. Cheap is for salvation or 
Cheap, no, cheap es um, barato. Ajá, pero uh -huh. diría. Or expensive too, which is the opposite. Uh -huh. Si algo es expensive, too much money. Es uh -huh. caro. Okay. okay, so continue working on that and I'm going to go in and help the other groups. Okay, teacher. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Splendid. Teacher. I'm with some. Yeah. Splendid. Yeah, that is correct that the, um, the word is fancy. No. Splendid. It's, no, the word is splendid. 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 S P L. S P L. Okay. S P L. Mm -hmm. Hey, ¿Por qué me lo pone erróneo? Plain con eh, S. Splendid. S, P, house. Ok, X, escuché bien. X. Uh, no, pero es splendid. Es correcto. The way you splendid. Have, the way you have spelled it is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Splendid. Ok, expensive. That's correct, this, this word. Which word? All word. Good, very nice, ugly, great, poor quality. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Very Best, good. poor, cheap, expensive, absent, uh, yeah. splendid, uh, splendid, okay, splendid. Um, Como? Opaco. 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 Opaque. 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 Also, maravilloso. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go in and help the other groups, okay? So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. See you. Splendid. Um, Are you finished? No. No, teacher. I I have a question. Uh, we we are or oh, we write storage in satisfaction. Is correct? In satisfaction. Storage. Mm -hmm. Storage is a almacenaje. But you are looking uh -huh. for adjectives. No, entonces. But adjectives. and Los excellent, excellent quality. Excellent, yeah, quality, great. Or uh, uh, big. And the satisfaction big and the, the satisfaction small. Oh. Okay, it depends, but, but big and small, I don't know if you can say one is good and one is bad. Because sometimes mm -hmm. um, sometimes big is bad, sometimes big is good. Mm, yeah, yeah. Depende, depende lo que usted quiera. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces, only correct I have is excellent quality. Yes. Boy. Okay. You're disappointed? Ah, uh -huh. teacher and satisfaction, uh, excellent quality and disappointed. Dissatisfaction, disappointed. Disappointed would be an adjective, yeah, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can say close. Pista? ¿Nos puede dar alguna pista? A clue. A clue. Mm -hmm. 
You want a clue for what? Uh, for adjective, but I don't say, or I don't know. No conozco otro. No sé cómo okay. ponerlo. Okay, well then you ask Mariela. She may know more. Por eso están trabajando en pareja. Porque lo que usted no sabe, Mariela, si lo sabe. Si lo que Mariela no sabe, si lo sabe. Estamos the I same, say, the same, the same the, way. I say uh, satisfaction, uh, the color. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, class, very good. So let's uh, let's share the answers. Okay. And for this, I need you guys just to open up your microphones. Whoever wants to share can give me ideas. So I'm going to start, first of all, by writing in the satisfaction category. So let's start with satisfaction. What words would be considered satisfaction? Ship. Sheep. Sheep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ship. It could be depends. Um, it depends um, if you're talking about money or the appearance, because for money, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's for money, and we use cheap and expensive as huh? we're talking about money. Good, yeah, exactly. So cheap can be um, like we're talking about money, that can be good. But if it looks cheap or the quality is cheap, that's not good. So it depends on what you're talking about. Okay, good. Another one? Okay. Excellent quality. Excellent, okay, excellent quality. Excellent quality, quality. And I want everybody to participate. What else? Lean. Sorry? Lean. 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 Clean. 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 Oh, okay, clean. Clean. Uh-huh. Por qué no? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Fast. Fast. Organize. Mm, organized. Organized. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can call a product organized. Mostly organized or people. Los organizes oh. las personas, pero no los uh, 
Grateful. Right. Yeah, bright. Bright means like a luminoso. Good service. Okay. Good. Fast. Okay. Fast. Uh -huh. Good. All right. Excellent. So these are some examples. Si no tienen esa respuesta, no es que está mala, sino que son algunas ideas. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the satisfaction. What words can be used for this to describe the satisfaction? Disappointed. 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 Another one? Poor quality. Poor quality. Okay, good. Poor quality. I'm sorry, poor quality. Okay. Work quality. Expensive. Expensive. Dirty. Bad service. Dirty. Bad. What else? Complex. Sorry? Complex. Complex. Yeah. Complicate. What was that? Yeah, complex. Uh huh. Any more? Old. Old. Okay. Use it. Use. Teacher. Mm -hmm. What mean complex? What does complex mean? Complex is complejo. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay, so these are some examples. Again, if you don't have these answers, it's correct. Okay, so these are examples. All right, we're going to erase this. And we're going to go on to the next part. Now, we have been talking about the simple past, right? The simple, this is the whole unit we've been talking Teacher. about the past. Teacher, eh, puede poner en mute todos los micrófonos, por favor. Okay, eh, de momento. Hay una interferencia. Ahí estamos. Okay. Yeah. I think I think you should all be able to to um, to hear me. Okay, so during this the, in this um in this uh, um, unit in unit three, we have been talking about the simple past. Okay, we've been talking about the simple past. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to be working on two exercises. The first one is we have to change the negative sentences to affirmative sentences. Example of this is, I'll give you an example so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so she didn't buy the computer, it's a negative, and the negative, sorry, the opposite is affirmative, right? So the affirmative form of buy in the simple past is bought. So you're gonna say, she bought that computer. Okay, so we are, we're changing the didn't buy to bought because it's the opposite of negative, affirmative. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do in this first part. In the second part, we, in the second exercise we're going to be working on, is this, okay, a simple past information questions. So 
So over here, you're going to be creating your own questions to ask your partner in the simple past. So you can ask, for example, um, it, I'll, give, I'll give you an example so you can see. These are words that you're going to be creating to ask your partner. So that's it's up to you. For example, we can say, um, when do you do your homework? That could be an example. When do you do your homework? Okay. And then your partner is going to write, actually, uh, well, your partner's going to say, for example, I do my homework um, at 6 6.30 p.m. Okay, example. Pero, ¿saben qué? Lo que prefiero, o sea, eso, esto es para, para escribir, ¿verdad? O sea, aquí estamos escribiendo. Pero me gustaría que pudieran hacerlo sin tener que, que escribir. O sea, lo quiero oral. O sea, quiero que lo hagan oral. Solo hagan la pregunta y respondan oralmente utilizando estos verbos. ¿Do we understand? Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Uh, when you um, are question in simple past, Oh, we sorry. can use did or do. No, sorry, sorry. Sí, esa mi, mi, fue mi culpa. Perdón, chicos. We're doing the past. Simple past, did. Yes, exactly. Give me a moment. Sí, tiene toda la razón. Uh, we are... We're, we're practicing the simple past. So we said, when did you do your homework? And so the answer would be, I did my homework. I did my homework at 6.30 p.m. Thank you very much, Josue. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this is, I want you to do it orally. Not write it. No se, no se pongan a escribirlo, solo oralmente. Okay? All right. So I'm going to, again, make the groups. Let's see, let's go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, let's open the groups. You send the, the verb go, buy, go, read, and see. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> where, where do you go? to the next weekend. Okay. Uh, I didn't go um, and work last next week. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, bye, bye. How, how much the cost 
di Entonces, Ajá. sí, ve. Entonces, ay, ¿dónde está? Espérame que se me perdió. Espérame que se me okay. perdió. Ajá. Ay, no sé, espérame, espérame, espérame. Ok, lo, lo voy a proyectar otra vez. Ok. ¿Dónde está? Aquí, veamos. Este es. Vaya. Eh, we did bring the pack, pack, back, pack, 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 pack. Package. Ese package. Package, package, package. Ese bring el past bring. Bring, bring, bring. Bro, bro. No sería we bro. En el simple pass. We were on the package. Uh -huh. Number three. Ok. The client didn't call yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the client called call it? Called? Call it. Call, Ajá, it. Call, it. Uh -huh. call it yesterday. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Number four. The employees didn't read the email. The employees Read the mail. Read the mail. Pues sí, solo que quiero ver ejemplos. Yo ya no me acuerdo. What did, um, what did you, you do? I, yeah, I did. With, Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, no, did. I did. I did. I no sé. Do. I did. Do. I, I did do sería. Sí. Sí, ¿por qué? Tendríamos que remember, remember that did we only use for questions. Mm, and yes, I'm sorry, no. And so, yeah, and so in the answer, we would just say, we can say did, pero just did, only did, not did do. Ah, okay. Yes, I did. But yeah, correct. Is, but the question, um, the is, question is, what do you do on the weekend? Uh -huh. And the answer. What book did you read? Um, I read in the read it. It's it's the past tense, right? Read. Read. Passive read is read. Like read. Okay. I read. Uh, I I read. I read. Uh, I read uh, a book, the, um, um, oh, oh, se me, se me olvida el, uh, the, 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 the Nardia, the Nardia, uh, quería decirle los, <laughs> este libro que leí, hombre. La crónica de Nardia. ¿Cómo? Um, how, how do you say chronicas? Chronic, yes, Nardia. Chronics. Uh, chronics. 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 Yeah, I, I, I read. Nardia's chronics. I read, I read the book uh, Chronic Nardia. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, 
I have problems with my internet, but Can you hear me? Did you? Your microphone just. Sorry, yes, we uh, can hear you. Uh, with the verb read, read and read, uh, we have to write the, the same way. It's you, you, you write it the same way, but the pronunciation is different. In the, read in the past, read. The, pronun the pronunciation is similar to the color. The color okay. red. Okay. 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 Uh, like Edgar's shirt. Okay. Uh -huh. Right? It's red. Yeah. Okay. And the okay. last one. Where? Let's see. C. C is not the same with watch. No. Repeat, please. In this case, uh, the verb C is not the same with watch. So, I know. We are fried. It's, um, it's, um, ready? Oh, hello. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, good, good. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room then. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna ask us questions. <laughs> well, I would love to, but um, time has caught up with us. So oh, I see. It's already time. It's uh, The time's already up, yeah. So we're gonna have to cut it short. Okay, that, that's fine. I have to work still. Oh. What time do you get off work, Felicia? At six in the oh. morning, tomorrow. <laughs> do you always work at night? Uh, no, we are rotating the uh, the shift. Oh. So this week I I I yes. Uh, well, this is my last class with uh, with this shift. I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you know what we call the shift? Do you know the name of the shift? Oh. The name of the shift that you're covering in this moment. Oh, um, no. Uh. In English, we call it graveyard shift. Oh, yeah. I, I remember that when I was at the call center, they used to t uh, say that uh, the graveyard shift. Yeah, graveyard shift means that when you work at night. Right, right. Yeah. I remember that mm -hmm. now that you mention it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room. All right. Okay, so we're gonna check the answers. Um, I'm going to check the answers only for the first one because the second one, there are many, many, many possibilities. There's no just one possibility. So I'm just gonna check the one for the first exercise. That's the one that we only have one possibility. Tell me when you can see it. Can you see the PowerPoint? No, teacher. Uh, yeah. okay. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I see. Oh, no. Yes. Okay, good. Bye. We're going to write quickly our answers. So we know the first one is she, she didn't buy that computer. We did it. She bought that computer. The H. All right. That. Next. Um, we didn't bring that package. We brought that, brought that, that package. package. Good. Okay. Next. The client didn't call yesterday. Client called yesterday. The client called yesterday. Good. The employees didn't read the email. The employees read the email. Read the email. The employees read the email. So you 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 spell it the same, but the pronunciation is red, like the color red. Okay. Okay. And then we have our bosses didn't come back last week. Our, our boss. Boss. Our boss came back. Came. Uh, back. Last week. Good. Our boss came back last week. All right. Um, six. They didn't cancel the meeting. They canceled it. They canceled the meeting. Okay. They canceled the meeting. Next. Uh, the lady didn't want to complain. The lady, the lady, wanted, lady wanted, wanted, to wanted, to wanted, to wanted to complain. Wanted to complain. Okay, good. And finally, the last one, I didn't send the, re the refund to this email. I didn't send, send the refund to this email. I send. didn't send. 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 I don't know. No, I didn't send. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. I, I didn't send. send the email. The, send. I didn't send the refund to this email. Send. Yes, send. Send. The finish. Mm -hmm. I uh, refund yeah. to this email. Okay. All okay, right. What happened guys. with you? All right. There's the answer. Como le dije, no vamos a ver el otro porque las posibilidades son infinitas. No hay un sola respuesta. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing now. Okay. All right, guys, so we have come to the end of our class. Um, para no entretenerlos más, lo que voy a hacer es, voy a tomar una captura de imagen de las personas que están ahorita para saber la última, um, ¿cómo se llama? <laughs> no, 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 no se preocupen, que no es, no es para, no es foto de, de <laughs> grabaciones así. No, solamente es para saber eh, quiénes están de, en la asistencia. Para no entretenerles más. Okay, so um, guys, remember the homework has to be complete uh, till unit to homework 15. And make sure, make sure, si aún todavía no han completado, El, um, el midterm, asegúrense de completarlo. Y por último, um, quería mencionarles algo que, uh, que les va a ser de, de utilidad para la tarea de, de este día del 15. Um, no aparecen las, las instrucciones, pero es prácticamente lo mismo que acabamos de hacer. Van a cam cambiar del negative al affirmative. Okay. Eso es todo. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Good night, everybody. See you to Monday. Good night, guys. Solamente Juan Francisco. All right, good night, good night. everyone. Good night. Good, night. good night. Good night, teacher. Okay, Juan Francisco, how are you? Como vamos? Como? So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Por que? Cuente. Um, uh, it's, it's difficult, difficult for me. <laughs> uh, my English is bad. I think or I feel. Uh, I feel that I don't improve, improve. but uh, but I try. <laughs> I try. But Why do you feel that you don't improve? Uh, uh, always, always, uh, uh, right. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, uh, I think in Spanish <laughs> for part for for time for for speak English. Right. Mm -hmm. So the tip that we saw today is going to be very useful for you. So Juan Francisco, when you are thinking to talk, to reply, to answer. Don't think Spanish, then English. I need you to think yes. only English. If your mind yes, is switching I... from English, Spanish, Spanish, English, it's going to get confused. Yes. Yeah, it's always going to get very confused. confused. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very confused. So uh, you need to only think in English. Something that, is, <laughs> something that is going to help you to think in English is not don't don't think in English only in class. Think in English in your everyday life. I'm going to give you an example. Do you drive or do you go by bus? Uh, drive. You drive. Okay. I drive, yes. Okay. So you're driving. You're driving to work. Okay. And then while you are driving, you are thinking many things. Maybe you're thinking, oh no. You're, what you're thinking is probably, well, I'm going to say, in su mente está pensando, que tráfico el de hoy. O está pensando, Que solas son las calles ahorita. Así voy a ir bien rápido al trabajo. O puede decir, ah, uno está pensando, por ejemplo, ay, qué, qué bonito, uh, qué bonito día ha hecho. Espero que sí siga, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. What you have to do uh, is don't think that in Spanish. Think it in English. And you say, oh. There is a lot of traffic. Oh, wow, the traffic is no, it's, there's no traffic like this. I'm going to get to work quickly, very fast. Or oh, look at the weather. Wow, the weather is very nice today. I hope it will be like this during the whole day. They look easy. So you have to switch, cambia el chip, okay? Yeah. Switch it from, from Spanish to English. Whatever you think, think in English. During the day, not only in class, during the day. 
all day. Yes, all day. <laughs> yeah. All, all day. day. Yeah. Okay? So you have to drive in English. Work in English. Uh -huh. Eat okay. in English. Yes. Okay? Uh, I'm a, I'm a thing. English. <laughs> yes, exactly. You need to practice, expose yourself. I talked yesterday about different ways that you can expose yourself to English. So if you are driving and you are maybe, okay, sometimes you're driving, you're tired and you don't want to be thinking in English. You're like, oh no, I'm so tired. I don't feel good. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't do it. But what you can do is do something in English. Listen to music in English while you are driving. So even though you are not actively practicing English, but your ear will listen and listen and listen to English and it will get used to it. Okay, because you're going to be listening to it all the time. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. And then your pronunciation will be better because you will listen to people speaking in English. Yeah, you can listen to podcasts. You know podcasts? Podcast, I don't Podcasts. Mm, son como conversaciones. Yes, I, 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 I know. Okay, good. Okay, so yes. you can listen to podcasts in English while you are driving or while you are working. What, what is your job, Juan Francisco? Uh, in, in power generation plan. Sorry? Uh, Power generation plant. Okay, but what do you do? What do you do? Ah, supervise. You're a supervisor. Yes, operation. Okay. 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 Um, so you have to really be paying attention. Fine. But what you have to do is, for example during the break time, during lunch time, yeah. just listen to music. Or also, are there, are there co-workers that speak English? Yes, um, but uh, they are, they are bots. <laughs> uh, so? <laughs> yes. Better. <laughs> Van a ganar puntos con ellos. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I, I am bad. I am bad at so. all. <laughs> you have to lose. You have to lose that fear. Que pierdas el miedo. Forget it. The important right. thing is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah. The more you practice, the better you will get at it. At the beginning, you will not be good. At the beginning, you're like, ah, you're going to be, I, you don't know what to do. But later, one month later, a little bit better. Two months later, mm, very good. Three months later, woo, you, don't, you don't even notice. You're going to be talking, talking, talking. Okay? So, yes, at the beginning, it's going to be difficult. And you're going to... You're going to be very embarrassed. Oh, you make a mistake. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You make a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. Your boss that speaks English, when they were learning, made mistakes. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. Do you have any questions about the information we have seen in class? Uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, Muslim, uh, uh, 
Amusement park. Uh, amusement park. Amusement. Amusement park is parque de diversiones. Okay. Uh, uh, my question is uh, amusement. I can ask adjective. No, amusement, no. Amusement is diversión. But amuse is divers, div, um, divertido. Oh. Well, no, no, sorry, sorry. No, amuse is not divertido. Amuse is um, divertir, which is the noun. And sorry, the verb. Divertir, amuse. Divertir um, itself. And an adjective, it is amusing. The adjective is amusing. Divertir. Divertido, amusing. I will I will spell in the chat. Amusing. Okay. This is the uh, adjective. Mm -hmm. That's the adjective. So amusement. Amusement is the the noun. Amusement. Diversión. Amuse. Amuse. To amuse is the verb. And amusing is the adjective. Any other questions? No, only that teacher. Okay. Okay, Juan Francisco, do you have any questions that you want to ask me before? We finish. Finish. It's a good night. See you to Monday. Okay. Okay. Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Enjoy your weekend. And um, I will see you Monday. Okay. Don't forget to do the homework. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.